What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only paid to drive and, of course, pay to drive vlogs. And uh, I hope you're all doing great out there. And uh, if you guys drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on, everybody. That is correct, Mundo. That's right. So uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And let's jump on into the email. Triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. All right. So this comes from Cindy. So this is what Cindy had to say. She goes, hi, Pete. I've been watching you for, for some time now. And I deliver both DoorDash and Uber Eats. So in the chat of the comments, guys, tell me which apps you work on. Are you specifically on DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub, which ones do you work? I must say that Uber Eats is getting bad or getting as bad or worse than DoorDash. Here's the story and feel free to use it as you wish. I've worked at delivery. I have worked at delivery even though I'm on disability for the last three years. I am able to work short hours without too much discomfort. Unfortunately, I need the extra income. For almost three years, I have had a top rating being diamond and between 98 and 100% satisfaction. Last Friday night, I was working doing Uber Eats and I was on my last double delivery, so I'm assuming a stack delivery. I was having some personal issues and mixed up the orders. Knowing this, I contacted the customers and told them they could call Uber for a credit or I can bring them the corrected order. I did just that. Both deliveries though, late, both deliveries though late were delivered the second guy slammed the door in my face i'm very sorry that happened cindy shortly after uber said they got a complaint i was under the influence probably to get free food i don't drink or use drugs as i take blood pressure meds and such none of none of which impair me in any way i was going to call uber about the situation but i already handled it Uber shut me down pending investigation for 48 hours. I can't even get my pay that I already worked for. This is an utter outrage and they should not, uh, they should not go by one person's false statement over 1500 deliveries. I just wanted other drivers to be aware and hopefully not have these horrible people do this to you. Even if Uber reinstated the account, not sure I'm going back. Sincerely, Cindy. I mean, it, it's just, it's it's ridiculous man like there are are people out there in situations like this that are on disability okay i've i've done a few videos talking about this and it just people out there are absolutely heartless they are they really are and it's just it it just makes you sick to your stomach to know that people out there are busting their ass bringing you your food that you were either too lazy to go out uh, and get yourself or didn't have the means to and this is how you treat people you know she made a mistake she tried to rectify it and this is how she was repaid and of course who who do these companies always favor no matter what not the people working for them the customers because they are always by the logic of the customer is always right. And as we have learned in the past 15, 20, 30 years, that's not the case. I worked in retail for about three and a, three and a half, four years while I was in college. And I, I can tell you right now, for damn sure, the customer is not always right, okay? If you guys want me to go into uh, more detail about that another time, I can in another video. But I'll, I'll tell you straight up, it's absolutely ridiculous, the entitlement of people. Uh, and they, you know, it's just like, oh, I'm spending my hard earned money and blah, 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 blah. That goes just so far, okay? When it gets to the point where you're getting people fired or under investigation or slamming doors in people's faces, like who raised you? You know what I mean? Like, it's like your parents raised you to slam the door in people's faces. I don't think I've ever done that in my life. Okay, I've always been a please and thank you, you're welcome, no problem, you know, kind of a person, hold the door open for people. You know, we live in such a time now where uh, morals just go out the window, you know what I mean? And, and people will do anything to screw somebody else over and 
it, it sucks, man. It sucks the world we live in where it's just everyone is out for themselves and no one else. And I have a huge problem with that. And if you don't, you may be part of that problem. I don't know. But everybody in the chat or the comments, do you agree with how Cindy handled this situation? Do you disagree? Let me know your thoughts down below. Now, if any of you guys ever want to reach out to me with a story, a question, a topic, an article, whatever, best place to reach me is paytodrivestories at gmail.com, just like Cindy did. Or if you guys want a quicker response, you guys can message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. Link is in the description down below or in the pinned top comment. You guys can uh, check that out. And anybody who signs up for Patreon, uh, I will give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm about to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 Ultimate Driver. Thank you so much, Ari. I appreciate that. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland. Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, uh, Jenny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you. And uh, of course, guys, yes, if you want to check it out, links are in the description down below. And I hope all of you guys are saving money with the Get Upside Gas app. It's a free app for your smartphone to save money at the gas pump. If you want to download it, it's free. Links in the description down below at the bottom. Click on that. It'll tell you how to download it to any kind of smartphone you have. Go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description. Make sure to download it today. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paytodrivestore.com. We have lots of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it at paytodrivestore.com. Definitely check it out. Link's in the description of the pinned top comment. And if you made it to the end of this video, simply leave a comment saying end 622, E-N-D 622. Uh, just lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications. So you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know. I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.